church. It is Thursday, June 25th, and I am Pastor Colleen. We continue praying Sarah Bessie's A Prayer for Us for Today. Let us pray. I pray for us to know the intimacy and companionship of the Holy Spirit in these days. I have often found that it is in the wilderness and in the darkness and in the loneliness that the Spirit draws nearest. I pray for the active and intimate presence of the mystery of God to be close in ways we couldn't name or explain or understand. We pray for the inbreaking of the Spirit, for the disruption of the way things have always been, the upending of status quo and toppling of spiritual wickedness in high places. I pray we would never lose our capacity for dreaming, for hoping, for longing. I pray for peace in us and through us and about us. I pray for glimmers of reconciliation. I pray for bad jokes and for the kind of laughter that makes us want to whoop and pound the table a time or two. I pray for friends who become family and I pray for family to become friends. I pray for God to be near in ways we never could have expected. I pray that this will give birth to a great compassion, a love for our suffering world like we've never known. Jesus, would you redraw your, our geography of the kingdom so that we know, truly know, that the margins are not the margins to you, but the center of your sacred heart. May we, as the company of the people of the unanswered prayers, hold both hope and grief together. I know there is something for which you cannot even pray. There is no faith left in you for it. I pray for that unnamed thing too. I have a bit of faith today and you can have it. I don't know what it, what it is in you, but I know you carry it. And the better thing is that God knows. I have always been so thankful that Jesus is described in Isaiah as a man of sorrows, a man acquainted with grief. This is a man I can let into that inner chamber of grief. He is acquainted with our sorrow and he will deal so gently, such a good mother with our broken hearts. I pray for hope to rise unbidden and unforced and surprising like a flower breaking through the cement in a parking lot. I pray we would be a people who tend that tendril of hope, like a gardener, protect it, let it grow wild and unexpected into the places people least anticipated. Dear church, thank you for joining me in prayer today. We will conclude our prayer tomorrow. See you then. Bye.